Closing the interview. You are a sales professional in a sales meeting, in a sales interview, you are expected to close. I can't tell you how many times the candidates rung me after an interview, said, fantastic meeting, got on like a house on fire, it was fantastic, did you close? No, it wasn't the right time, it, yeah, we got on so well, it wasn't necessary. I then ring up the employer with the feedback and they go, nice guy, I'd love to go out for a drink with him, wouldn't hire him as a salesperson though, because he couldn't close a barn door. So it's imperative that you close in every sales interview that you attend. You wouldn't attend a sales meeting without asking for either the order or how you're going to progress through the next stage of the sales process. So ensure that you close. Just to give you an example of how important this is, many years ago I did some extensive research. Well, to be true, what I did was had a bit of paper by the side of, side of my desk. And when I spoke to candidates, um, I asked them whether they closed and I put a tick in either the yes or no. And over the course of the month, it was just under three quarters of sales professionals in sales interviews did not close. It's a travesty. So how do you close? Let's go back to real kind of sales basics. D-A-D-A. -A. Direct close. Quite often it is inappropriate in a sales interview. It's a bit too double glazing. It's a bit too full on. But if the moment's right, go for the jugular. You've then got the alternative close, the understand you're looking for somebody to start in September, is it the second week or the third week, you know, close in that kind of way. You've then got the deferred, I understand that you're working through an agency, um, basically I understand that you're going to be talking to Aaron Wallace and that they're going to, uh, you're going to talk about it in a lot more depth with them before coming back to me, the deferred close. The easiest way to close and probably the most natural way to close is the assumptive close. I've really enjoyed my time here uh, being interviewed with you. I've really liked uh, everyone that I've met. I feel that we can get on. I like your style. I like your direction. I, I really like the business. I know I can sell your products and services. And I really know that if you give me the opportunity, I will succeed. So I really look forward to working with you. To, and I'm you know, really looking forward to, to hitting the sales targets that you set me. Look forward to seeing you again uh, when, when I start with your business. Nice and easy, nice and assumptive, um, and very, very natural. And it just gives you that tick in the box um, that you have closed the interview down. But how do you get to that point? As a salesperson, you know you just don't go in with the close. You've got to ask lots of questions beforehand. When you feel the interview is coming to a natural close, when you feel that their questions have come to the end, ask questions about your own performance. One of the best ones is, how do you feel our meeting has gone today? It's no longer an interview, it's a sales meeting. You're on a level. Ask questions about how they feel you'd fit in with other team members, whether they feel that you're the cultural match for their business, whether they feel that there are any areas of your expertise or, or your qualifications or abilities that aren't right for the business overcome them, acknowledge that you've overcome them, then go for a semi-close. Okay, so you didn't feel that I had enough experience of national account type business. I hope that I've now overcome that. Do you agree? Yes. Then move on to the semi-close. Are there any further um, things that you'd like to explore before this meeting closes? If you're not getting uh, any negative feedback at that point, you've got the opportunity to go for the close. Can't stress how important it is to close, so ensure that you do close at every sales interview that you attend.